we have a clear display of the uh, the battery life that's on there. Uh, currently we've got the Wi-Fi symbol, the splicing program, heat shrink program, uh, the heater function and the uh, play button. So in the splicer program there's a, a long list. So you've got auto, it's typically used for multi-mode, single-mode and dispersion shifted fibres. So if you have a rack of uh, multi-mode and single-mode fibres in, say, in a data centre, uh, by having auto, it'll auto automatically select multi-mode or single-mode. It'll also show you an error if you've got uh, the wrong uh, pigtail being spliced onto the wrong fibre. Um, if you're not sure what fibre you've got, how do you find out? So in dissimilar fibre splicing, we would use... Um, uh, well, it depends on the type. We have a, a huge uh, range. So uh, we'll just scroll down through here. You can see uh, we've got uh, 652 to 657. So there's your standard single mode to uh, bend sensitive single mode. Uh, we've got single mode to multi mode. That's an unusual splice, but is required from time to time. Single mode to non-zero dispersion shifted, non-zero to single mode, uh, multi-mode dispersion shifted, uh, true wave, leaf, uh, attenuation mode. Uh, this one's a fairly simple one to set up where you want to splice in to a pigtail, a 5 dB loss, uh, and then install that so that you don't have to buy an attenuator for that particular application. Uh, BBXS um, uh, is also a very common fibre, particularly here in Australia. Uh, so BBSX to single mode and BBX to uh, BBSX uh, is a very, very common uh, splice requirement. Uh, Easy Bend's another trade name. It handles the 80 micron fibres, high NA, uh, all screed are different types of fibres. So now we're up to 64, and um, so that's that's what we've got um, built into the machine, 64 programs that uh, are ready to roll on almost any type of fibre. This particular type of machine is the kind of machine that um, uh, gets used in uh, labs, out in the field, uh, for telco splicing, for mining. At the top end of the field game is uh, splicing your yeah, submarine cable to land cable uh, when a intercontinental um, fibre is brought onto land. Uh, this is the kind of machine you use for that application. So on the heat shrink side, yeah, I've actually uh, repositioned them. So the normal run is uh, from one through to, what's that go up to? Um, goes up to 22. So they're uh, pre-installed. So their uh, SOC is uh, spliced on connectors. Uh, continuous, when you're working in very, very cold environments, you just have the heater continually running. Many splices to curl remove. Any one of these that uh, you might be interested to uh, have more readily available than having to scroll down, you can go through this, uh, this scenario here where we can uh, get hold of it, uh, copy, I, I store my common use ones up at the top here, edit, and then uh, paste. And so now I've uh, installed it there. Quick access. For quick access. So it gives me uh, my, my common 40 and my curl remove. What we did with the, the heater one where we uh, copy, you can do the same. You can do the copy and edit. These ones with a padlock on them, uh, you can't actually edit those. What you have to do is copy them to somewhere else. So if I was to open up this one here and um, uh, do some edits to it, say so I was to change the uh, arc, arc duration. It, it won't let me change it. So uh, it's uh, completely protected. So. Your, your important uh, programs are locked. You can see all the uh, ones with a lock on them. So you know that someone can't just go mucking around with a program. If it's got a lock on it, it's safe. It's been uh, uh, 
it can't be changed by someone who doesn't know what they're doing. But if you do want to use that as a base program, it's only a matter of doing a copy, scroll it up to uh, a new position, and uh, paste. And now I can edit, then edit. So I can change the uh, arc duration. I can put in a new figure here. And I can change the, uh, the name of it. So uh, I can tailor this uh, program to suit um, whatever exotic fibre that I'm, I'm wrestling with. And then I have a choice to uh, overwrite parameters or uh, no, I can just let it disappear. So it stays standard.